In this uh, laser cut design pattern, uh, I want to show you how you can use this uh, file, which is basically a pattern tool number one. Uh, we are going to add this in our website, so you can download this uh, definition uh, from our website. I'm going to explain how you can use it and how you can use patterns such as this one. And for those who are uh, the Grasshopper course members, they can also uh, download the definition and uh, look at the example file. So, so they can watch the uh, file and look at the files and understand. For those who want to know more about this algorithm, they can uh, go to the Grasshopper course section. So let's just get back to the definition. And I have just made this definition as simple as possible. And you can also produce different patterns. First of all, the radius is the radius of the circle you can see here. And uh, you can simply change that, but that will simply be a scale for the circles. The second thing is the count uh, of the uh, curve, which you can see here in the circle is four sided. So I can just increase that or decrease that to three, four, five, six, and so on. So you can see that you can also produce different patterns on that. Uh, besides changing the counts, you can also change the location. So you can see that I can change that from zero to one and produce different patterns. So the, the basic pattern is the four of this. So you can see that in the image. And I have just made this changeable, as you can see, from zero to one. And the next one is the X count and the Y count. So if you want to make a panel, you can simply change this to the count you want. Okay, X count and the Y count. And at the end, what you can do is simply, let me just decrease that because it's going to take a while, especially for complicated patterns. Assume that I just put this into five and change that into something like this, especially those who are, which uh, have an intersection like that. You can give a thickness, which is the thickness of the pattern, uh, which is ready for laser cut. You can just uh, hit the final to true and wait till the algorithm calculates the thickness. Okay, here you can see that it just produced the pattern. So you can always change the count to something, okay, six, you can see that intersects here. You can change the location. You can see that it has more intersections here. And then we can also increase the thickness maybe to 0 0.6 and then put that to true. So basically this uh, tool can help you to produce that pattern. You can see that the increased thickness can give this to the pattern. So let's just put to 0 0.2 and wait till it calculates. Especially if you increase the number of X count and Y count, you should just wait maybe even for minutes because it has to calculate the exact intersection and give you the curves. So you will have the geometry here output as the curves. You can simply just right click and bake that and have that Rhino. And if you just put that into false, you will have the outputs without thickness here, which is those curves. Uh, and this is the fast version, so you can see how simple it is to change the numbers. The base is the four, and you can simply change the location and produce different patterns. So if I want to make something like that, I can change the location and like this, and maybe 0 0.5 is exactly of the arc and then you can change the number of the X count and the Y count you want in the panel increase or decrease the thickness and then hit that to true so you can have uh, that thickness you can also increase that maybe to 0 0.8 and you can see that it calculates the intersections by itself and at the end we can simply bake that in Rhino and have the curves in the Rhino so Let's just go to the perspective section. Okay, here it is. So this tool can help you to produce patterns. Uh, so again, for those who want to know how I just uh, made that, especially for the thickness, it's a little bit hard to produce the thickness, especially for anything, for any pattern. Uh, as you can see here, you can change that to any pattern. Okay, I just had to put that to false. Uh, okay, final to false and change that 
to anything you can okay see i'm going to increase that that's going to take a while so let's just put that to two to two and decrease that thickness so this uh definition can help you to produce basically anything and those who want to know uh, how to do this in grasshopper as uh, basically to learn it you can go to the grasshopper course and also find the definition and take a look at it so here it is and you can see that this is a great uh, and it will just give you a single pattern uh, let's just put a surface and a boundary to that and you can see that this can produce the pattern. Let's just bake that. You can also have that surface let's just fill it in, and we can also extrude that. So you can download this file for Rhino 6 and Rhino 5. I've just included both of them, and you can simply use that uh, for your projects or if you want to make those patterns in the XY direction. Thank you for watching and subscribe to our channel. And you can also watch uh, something that is related to this video, that corner, and see you next time.